uh, hello to Rulani inside. I'm always talking to Rulani. Oh, I remember, yes, my apologies <laughs> about that one. Good. All right. Again, hello yes, to Rulani inside. We're in the middle of nowhere, as always. Yes, now we said we make a stop here because we need to show us something, right? So, what we have here is a skull of a female elephant passed away probably about a year and a half ago. Now the reason why I stopped for this afternoon to show us, so elephants in total, they've got 110 sets of teeth. However, that 110 sets of teeth comes in four blocks. So they've got one on each bottom jaw, as we can see here on the side, almost in a formation of a, of a brick. And then we've got each little line is the same as each little separate teeth in our mouth. Now how it works is, it kind of works in a domino formation. So as the one teeth starts to wear down, the next one starts to slide out. And that's why people a lot of time, or we speak about that an elephant's lifespan, is a lot of time determined by the amount of teeth they've got in their mouth. So if we take our elephants here in Madikwe, 50, 60 years of age, they've got good vegetation around, however they've got a lot of hard vegetation. If you go down to Botswana, towards the delta by the riverines, where it's green, lush, constant, succulent vegetation to feed on, they become much older ages because it takes much longer for them to work through their teeth as well. Uh, now, will you make a stop quickly? Yes. So these are the teeth. This are the elephants has teeth. Yes, sir. And they have tusks. And they've got tusks as well. So tusks are not teeth. Tusks are not teeth. Tusks are ivory. Teeth is part of calcium. So the is. tusks, they do not grow back. but the no, the tusk, once an elephant loses a tusk or breaks the tusk, that break is going to stay but there. But this also does not grow back, just our different sets coming, It's right? different sets like we as humans, we, okay. uh, what do you call it when you move I am teeth? German, it's a milk, mil milk, milk teeth, we milk call them. So I don't go, know how you call them. Uh, we call it milk thunder in Afrikaans no, as well, no, so it's, it's very similar. But yes, elephants work the same, so it can't regrow, but as they wear through the first set, then another one will push throughout, and then the teeth is about that block of a size, kind of like the size of a domino, if it comes up. Now, what I want to do is, Uncle Rolf. Yes, you give it to me. Yes, sir. Uh, where do I put it? Feel like, the weight, feel the weight of just that one yeah, jawbone. I just wanted to uh, lift this one. So this is probably, this is the skull, right? This is the skull. This was already quite heavy, so. <laughs> no, no, it's easy. It's easy. <laughs> you see? I made a joke. But do you feel the weight difference yeah. between the size of the yeah. head and the bottom of the yeah, jawbone. That was actually almost the same weight like almost that the one. Same weight. Exactly. Now there's a very good reason for it. If we look at an elephant's head, we see above all those little holes that's in there. We speak about the honeycomb effect. And that is to help to take the weight of an elephant's head away because they've already got the heavy tusks that they need to carry. And that's the reason, one, one of the many reasons why they got the honeycomb shape in the head. And then also with the bulls, when they fight and they run and they impact into one another. They've got nothing like buffaloes got the big horns over their head with the bush to protect their head. Elephants have nothing, it's soft skin. But that's why now due to have a honeycomb that helps to absorb the weight. Alright, let me show you what Bye-bye.